morning classmates today we will be making an artifact made from trash we will be using used papers scissor glues and a molding vase first we need to cut the used papers into small pieces once the used papers are cut we need to put the water to soften it and mash it into smaller pieces and make it as pulp paper, making it easier to mold using sculpted piece. Squeeze the water out of the pulp paper and place it as chunks in another bowl. Make sure to squeeze out as much as all the water from the soaked paper. You can ask help from your parents to do this. Now, we'll make the glue mixture. We'll be using corn flour as a glue. Add water and stir continuously. Make sure there are no lumps. Now, slowly add boiling water to the corn flour. Make sure to make a glue. Stir it continuously once the flour starts to become a thick jelly mixture. Pour the mixture into the crumb paper and mix it. You can add more of the glue mixture until the side clay like a dough is formed. We suggest to put a plastic wrap on the molding base for easier to remove once the paper mache is dry out. You can use oil or petroleum jelly as well. Now we can start making the paper mache. Take some paper pulp and start creating even layer of the paper mache into the molding base. Leave it to dry completely. You can take it out and dry it in the sun for more faster results. It will take at least 2 or 3 days to dry completely. Now it's completely dry. We need to remove it from the molding base by cutting the model paper mache in half. We need to stick it together by using a glue gun. Now we can start coloring the base paper mache with brown to make it like an artifact. And this is what we have done. A vase made from paper mache. It really looks like an artifact. The way it is colored brown, it looks like it's made from clay. And one more artifact. We made a kanjar, a traditional dagger, originating from Oman, which is used as a weapon, a tool for hunting and skinning animals. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Bye, guys!